hope you are doing wonderfully. It's so rainy at the moment, we've had sunny spells but whilst it's raining so I can't really go outside very much. But nonetheless, the longer days have me so excited for warmer weather so I pulled out some of my old and new spring dresses and filmed it for you. So this is wardrobe tour part 3. Starting off strong with House of CB, if you haven't seen their new collection, please go and look because it is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This is the Rosalie dress in the print Pink Peony. This print is just everything. It has a very vintage feel to it as it's kind of faded, which I love. And the actual style of dress itself is so flattering. I didn't get a clip of it, but it also has a lace trim underneath, which is such a gorgeous detail. This House of CB dress is an older design which I'm sure you have seen all over Pinterest before but it is a classic. This is the Alicia in lemon floral print and it is one of my spring summer go-tos. Back to the new House of CB spring collection, this is the Sansia in white posy print. When House of CB released sneak peeks of the new spring collection, this was the dress I knew I had to have. If a dress style could be described as angelic, this would be it. When I saw this dress on Selkie's website, I was enthralled immediately. This is the Blush Caribbean dress and you can wear it on its own or with the Ivory Theatre petticoat. With the petticoat, this could literally be a wedding dress, it's so pretty. Another magical fairy dress, this is literally called the fairy dress by Selkie and this is the confection colorway, it's so pretty, so dainty, I do feel like a little garden fairy when I wear it. I am on the hunt for some pretty lacy bloomers to wear with it because at the moment I just wear a pair of white shorts underneath which works but I feel like a pair of ruffle lace bloomers would complete the look and keep it dainty and fairyish. It seems that there is a common theme in this video of fairy dresses. This is the Sweet Pea dress from Jessa K. Again, it's another one that makes me feel like a spring garden fairy. This shade of pink is so gorgeous and I'm so obsessed with the 3D flowers. And the shoulder straps are bows too, which is so cute. I love that these are adjustable so you can have the dress as high or low as you like. This may be one of the most flattering, beautiful dress silhouettes I have ever seen. This is the Mia dress from Jessica in pink. They initially released this in a champagne colour, which I fell in love with, but unfortunately when it came to it, they did not have my size. But then they released a little sneak preview of a new collection this year, and I saw the Mia dress in pink, and I screamed. And you know your love for a dress is real when you get it in another colour too. As you all know, I am of course a pink lover, but I also have such a soft spot for a light blue. Some of my favourite flowers are forget-me-nots, and this shade really reminds me of them. And both the blue and pink together remind me of Aurora and Cinderella, or Barbie, Princess and the Pauper. If you want a dress that makes you feel like Margot Robbie in 2023 Barbie, this is the one. This is the Days dress from Jessica in pink gingham. I will say the pink on this dress is a lot brighter in real life. I'm usually not a fan of loud pinks, I prefer a pastel pink, but this dress is a huge exception. It's so cute. This may well be my dress of the spring and summer of 2024, I'm obsessed. This is the Grace Boulevard dress from Maison Amory in the print Castle Rose. It is the perfect cottagecore dress, I love how much you can twirl in it. And again, I love that the print is slightly faded which gives it more of a vintage style. They recently released the same style of dress in a different pink print which I also adore. I got this dress in the autumn last year and I've been counting down the days until I can take it to the field and have a big photo shoot with it. This is the Romance Maxi from Pharisee. It is a gorgeous cream floaty gown with pink flowers on. You know I absolutely love my gowns, but sometimes gowns can be a little bit bottom heavy, which makes them less comfortable to wear. This one, however, is so lightweight and so comfortable. I would wear it everywhere if that was socially accepted. 
clearly I decided to have a nail break so these are my spring nails and this is the Tinkerbell fluffy dress in the colorway powder from Flana which is the most perfect name for this dress. I am a simple woman if I see a pink gingham dress I have to have it. This is the strawberry goddess gown from Miss Candy Holic. They do so many goddess gown variations and I am quite honestly obsessed with all of them. I think this one is so cute for spring and summer because it has little daisies on the shoulder and like I said earlier you know the love for a dress is so real when you have it in more than one colorway. This is the lemon goddess gown and I love this colorway because the daisies match up perfectly with the color of the dress and it's all just so pretty. Both of these are just so perfect for warm days when you want to be comfortable but still look cute. I love Amy Jane London's tiered dresses so much. They are so soft and so pretty to look at. This is the Evangeline Maxi. I can kind of imagine wearing this on holiday, going for an evening meal, taking a walk along the beach. This is the Kitty Maxi from Amy Jane London. And every time I see it, I think of Lottie from Princess and the Frog. It is such a beautiful, extravagant princess dress. The volume of this tiered skirt is the kind that makes me want to frolic through some flowers whilst it trails behind me. But for now, you'll just have to imagine that content because the weather is terrible. <laughs> have very much reached the gown section of the video. This one is from Fanciful Doll and it is the ballet slipper Odette gown. I absolutely love the drama that this dress brings. It makes me want to dramatically run away from all of life's problems and it is such a gorgeous shade of pink. Lace made are always bringing the most beautiful cottagecore princess core dresses to my wardrobe. This is the Rosa Rubus corset story dress. It is the most gorgeous dusky pink with a pretty rose print. It is such a vintage style dress and it makes me want to grab my basket and go strawberry picking. And at last, this is the final dress from this part of the wardrobe tour. This is the Princess Serafina dress from Lace May. This is one of the newer designs and it does fall under the category of princess dresses on their website because it is literally a princess dress. I love the cream lace detailing and I think it makes the dress so dainty. As always, thank you so much for watching part three of my wardrobe tour. I hope I'm not boring you. I am trying to space them out so it's not too overwhelming. Have a lovely week ahead and I'll see you next time. Bye!